so. When I first started dancing, I was three and I started doing ballet. Um, and then I stopped doing ballet and started doing musical theatre where I did acting, singing and dancing classes and then when I was about 10 I realised I needed to start my ballet up again because it's the core of everything um, so that was when I started dancing My favourite style of dance it has to be musical theatre jazz musical theatre is my favourite, it's the best um, so Musical theatre jazz would be my favourite style. Um, so my work, if you come to one of my musical theatre classes, um, we spend a lot of the warm up focusing on creative um, and characterisation. Um, so like our favourite exercise, we go to the jungle and we pretend to be animals. Um, so we've got to be a little bit crazy to be in one of my classes. Um, but yeah, we'd like to, um, learn routines, we like to be creative, get a bit crazy, um, with my old ones we like to have a moo off every now and again, um, so that's what you'd get if you came to one of my classes. I started dance as a child with, as you would with all my friends, um, and then I found my passion for musical theatre when I went to see Wicked, and as cliche as it is, um, I remember sitting in the audience and thinking, I want to be on stage, I want to do that, I don't want to do anything else. Um, and I just remember coming away and I actually remember texting my mum when I was about 10 years old, Wicked was Wicked. And I remember being so buzzing about how amazing it was. And that was actually the first ever West End show that I ever saw. Um, and the rest is history. Um, the thing I love most about teaching dance is seeing students blossom and grow week on week and kids that come to you that don't have very much confidence and seeing them get up on stage or get up in front of people and dance and perform um, that can that maybe barely talk to anyone else which is amazing to see. Um, the thing I find most challenging is keeping them entertained for the whole class Kids, um, especially young kids, get so easily distracted that as a teacher I think it's important to have something constantly going on so that they have something new and something exciting to learn and to be engaged in. My typical work week, um, I teach at a variety of other schools, stage schools, dance schools, theatre schools um, and I vary from musical theatre, like I teach at Impulse, I teach tap, modern, dance, I teach singing, um, I choreograph for like a full on show, I've just finished choreographing Oliver, um, which was amazing. My favourite choreographer ever is the legend, that is Bob Fosse, who is surely everybody's favourite. Um, I just think that all all modern dance nowadays somehow has stemmed from him. He is an absolute dance god, a dance legend, and everything about his work is just so thought out, so clever, so just amazing. He's amazing, and if you don't know who he is, you need to do some research on him. Um, my favourite show that I've ever watched is actually... Um, Come From Away, which is in the West End at the moment, well was before Covid. Um, I just think it's completely different to anything else that's out there at the moment. It's very um, emotional and tells a beautiful story. There's no um, interval or anything, it's just, it's just incredible. It was amazing, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I went to see it. My highlight since working for Impulse has to be when my wonderful students at Bush Hill Park performed at the Christmas Fair. As much as I was upset I couldn't be there, um, I was so proud of them when I saw the video of them and watching them progress week on week, remember the routine, perform it, get better every single week was just incredible and that is probably my highlight. Apart from seeing you all every single week and getting to work with you.
if I could be in any musical or show, I think it would have to be, I'd have to be in Shrek. It is honestly my guilty pleasure of <laughs> musical theatre. I absolutely love it. I watch the DVD of the musical all the time and I would love to be Princess Fiona. I think she gets the best of everything. She gets to be a beautiful princess, but she also gets to be an ogre, so she gets the fun stuff and she gets like to be a princess and she gets to fart on stage and do fun things like that. And one of my biggest passions as a teacher is tap dancing and there's a massive tap number in Shrek which I would just love to do. And as my Bushill Park students know, we did Shrek at Christmas and I do love the music as well. Advice that I'd give to someone considering the career, I think I'd just say embrace every moment. There are so many talented, amazing people in this industry that you can learn from. Be a sponge. People at college always used to say that to me. And when I was younger, I never used to understand it, but be a sponge and soak in everything everyone says because everyone has so much incredible um, advice and opinions to give to you that you can learn so much from so many different people. And I think, here at Impulse we're so lucky that we've got such a variety of teachers that have experienced so much and that I learn from every day when we talk on our group chat, learn new things about teaching, about performing, it's amazing, it's such a good um, community. And I wanted to put in there, my dad's favourite quote that he told me ever since I was young is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So even if you think to yourself that person's better than me, you can be better by working hard for it. And this whole industry is all, of, all about how hard you work and how hard you want it. So I would say work hard and be a sponge and soak it up from everybody. Um, so my exciting fact, literally everywhere I go for everybody, um, is when I was younger, I used to compete in synchronized swimming. So I used to wear the hat and the funny nose clip and have to put gelatine in my hair and me and my synchronised swimming partner were actually quite good and I remember going to, driving somewhere a long way away um, to compete in nationals uh, where we won, we were so shocked we couldn't believe that we came first um, and yeah that is my fun fact. I hope you've learned something new about me and I hope you're keeping safe and hope to see you all soon.